Okay. Good morning, Tropicos. One second. What do I need to do to it? It looks like it's all halfway off the screen there. Uh, okay, let's see. It's a broken record! screen. <laughs> oh, stop. I am going to attempt to play this game now. This is the first time I've ever played it. Bear with me. Tutorial. Yes, please. Oh, shoot! Okay, hang on a second. Uh, uh, okay, 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 let's see. Congratulations, President Day! Your swift rise to power is an inspiration for us all. I know. Ah, and your most humble and loyal advisor, Penultimo. Uh. Although your wisdom knows no bounds, let me provide a few okay. stunting. Okay. Press the OK button if you will condescend to listen to my voice. That's just a white screen, so okay. It's still not doing it. <laughs> oh my god. What do? Goes on in every corner of this country. The alarm is going Let's take a better look at our island. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you will want to take a closer look at the meat. Good job, Presidente!
Of course, and you need to know what goes on in their homes to make the best use of them. Select a citizen by left clicking on them with your mouse. It will be easier to find the citizen if you zoom in the view. What? Turn the sound down on my game. Uh, I uh, have the slightest idea how to do that right now. Okay. Uh, you have to like wait till I get out of the tutorial. <laughs> to select a citizen. <laughs> this is so sad. I should just stick to games, I know. There we go. The bars in the overall tab represent what a citizen needs at the moment. They will constantly diminish over time, <laughs> and when they get too low, the citizen will satisfy them somehow. For example, if the citizen needs to satisfy his health need, he will look for a clinic 
or a hospital or resort to folk medicine cures if there is no professional healthcare available. In any case, the need bar will be refilled. Unpause the game and you will see how the needs of the citizen change. Unpause the game and I will see how the needs of the citizen change. Presidente, what can be more important than the happiness of your people? Your happiness, of course, but the happiness of the people is important as well. You can see how happy they are by selecting the happiness tab. Open the happiness tab. You may have to select a citizen again to do so. See, I stopped and I, I, I was listening to you and now I don't re know what the dude said and I have to reread everything. Here you can see how pleased this person is by the different factors in his life. His job, his house, the healthcare he receives and see. so on. Each of these has different importance to any particular citizen and contributes to his overall happiness. As you can see, food quality is one of the factors that determines the happiness of your people. If you would like to see how to improve it, click OK. Oh When people are hungry, they go to the food producing farms to get food for their families. Alternatively, they can get it from the marketplace, which distributes food from the farms. A person can get several meals in advance for his whole family. Select the farm indicated with an arrow by clicking on it. Household I'm, I think the mic is back on. <laughs> it is very important to have your farms produce enough food for the masses. Right now, they are all producing tobacco that the people cannot eat. Ew. Open the overall tab and change the work mode to papaya. You have given your order and your farmers are on their way to plant papaya. Most things in tropical take time. It looks like a for instance, it will take several months for the new crop to grow. A patient ruler like you knows that it is better to wait for results than to change his mind every few months. Press OK to continue. Ah, it seems that this farm is also understaffed. In order to attract more workers, you should increase the wages. You can do that from the Fees and Salaries tab. Open the Fees and Salaries tab and increase the wages using the slide or the right arrow in the panel and wait a while until the farm is fully staffed. Please 
Presidente, can you fire Pedro Mendoza for me? He is lazy and always complains about everything. Not to mention that he shamelessly cheats at poker. In order to fire him, you need to select his workplace, the Teamster's office, and right-click on his portrait in the Fees and Salaries tab. Haha! <laughs> Goodbye, Pedro, and good luck on the labor market. Now, an honest trafficking will be able to take this job. I spent a good deal of my time compiling useful info for our country in the Presidential Almanac. Care to take a look, Presidente? Open the Almanac by clicking on the highlighted button. You can check different statistics related to the current situation on the island in the Almanac. It is good to check on it often. Click OK to close this notification. Browse the almanac as long as you wish. When you are ready, close it by clicking on the X at the lower right corner. Tropico makes its pesos from tobacco exports at the moment. When the tobacco crops are ready, the farmers gather them and store them at the farm. Then Teamsters from the Teamsters office come to transport them to the dock. Finally, the dock workers will load them onto ships and our country will get money. This is not as complicated as it sounds. Tropicans will do all this on their own. You just have to know, spend the all the money the white, they earn. Just like, I'm just confused. Speaking of money, <laughs> click on the OK button to learn about your personal Swiss bank account. I have a personal Swiss bank account. Presidente, let me tell you about your pension fund. Like all good things, your mandate may come to an end someday in the far future. So it is always a good idea to have a small fortune stashed in your Swiss bank. There are a few different ways to lead stray money there. One of them is the Special Building Permit Edict. Click on the Edict button at the bottom of your screen and I will tell you more. <laughs> Edicts are different presidential orders that can change the life of ordinary traffickers dramatically. Take your time to look at all the possibilities. When you are ready, issue the Special Building Permit Edict that is located in the Economy tab. When you activate the edict, a detailed description will be offered and you will have to confirm your order. Presidente, it is always good to practice your election speeches. In your election speeches, you can promise, blame, and praise. You need only give me the briefest details, and I, Penultimo, will put together the complete speech for you. Since we are <laughs> I don't only hear y'all over there. You will not actually give this speech. Please press OK when you are ready to continue. OK. The island is running smoothly, but you may address any hot issue that you view as a serious problem. 
You may praise anyone you wish. I am sure they will appreciate it. As for promises, the religious faction is always on my back because we still have not built a church. So? Please select the highlights of your speech. Mm. Uh, dress a hot shoe. Huh. Ay Calamba! Presidente, <laughs> it seems that the practice speech has somehow been leaked to the public. The religious faction is very pleased at the moment, but if you do not fulfill your promise, they will not vote for you in the next election. Oh, no. You'd better construct a church. You'll even get something for your Swiss bank account because of the edict you issued <laughs> previously. Right click anywhere in the view, then select a church from the Human Services tab and place it on a valid spot. Make sure the construction is located somewhere near your existing structures. Right, wait, right click anywhere in the view. Alright, okay. I'm gonna go here. Oh, and a church. Very good, Presidente! These good-for-nothing builders have started working on the church. Let us wait until it is completed. Make sure you have not paused the game. Remember, things take time in Tropico. You can increase the speed if you have no patience for these slow construction workers. Click OK to proceed. OK. Church shall be here.
Huh? Oh, I was laughing at the way the woman walked. There's not speed it up, but she just launched it like a funny artist. Ooh. Our new church is ready, Presidente, but there is no priest, so it stays locked. Not every faithful is cut out to be a priest. In order to preach sermons to the faithful, the worker must have at least a high school education. Since we don't have our own high school, let me tell you how to invite skilled workers from abroad. Select the church, open the Fees and Salaries tab, and then click the Hire Foreign Workers button <laughs> in the Info workers. panel. Your new priest will arrive on the next ship. Yes, of course. Enough about the affairs of the little people, Presidente. Let me introduce you to the single most important person on our island. Yourself. Well, of course. Click on the Select Avatar button. What is it now? I am glad you decided to get out of the palace, Presidente. Let us go for a walk in our beautiful country. If you take care to build roads and garages, you would also be able to travel with your limo. But for now, let us concentrate on the basics. With your avatar selected, right-click on any clear spot to travel there. People love you, my President Day, and you should take care to always keep them on your side, no? <laughs> a no coup d'etat or an uprising is not a pretty sight. You can address the people from the balcony of your palace. This will increase their respect towards you. With your avatar selected, right-click on the palace to go and give a speech from the balcony. Back to work. Presidente, I can now see why you are in power and I am just your humble servant. You truly know how to move the people's hearts. There are many other actions you can try. You can make official visits to buildings, speed up constructions, and even shoot down traitors and rebels if need be. I think you can now continue without me. No, I, Penultimo, awesome. have a project of my own to be working on. Do you happen to know a pharmacist who sells poison at an affordable price? Mm. Okay. <sighs> Absolute power. Claps, clax, classic campaign. Bananas. Huh? Pleased to meet you, President. I am Penultimo's brother, Segundo. I found a new island for you to rule. I picked it specifically because it has very few problems that can be fixed quite easily. As my brother Penultimo likes to say, less work is always good. There is something wrong with the industry on this island. A foreign expert I met in a bar told me we can make much more money if we optimize. Unfortunately, he was too drunk and passed out before I could get him to tell me what exactly needs to be done. So, I suggest we take a look at how the industry works at the moment. As you can see, our lumberjacks are hard at work producing logs at the logging camp. Yokure.
salary of five dollars. What? You have to just go faster. The teamster will carry the logs produced by our woodcutters to the lumber mill, where they will be processed further. This may take some time, so consider increasing the game. After that, the processed lumber is transported to the dock, where it will be loaded on a ship and sold. President, if we build a furniture factory, it will process the lumber into furniture, which is more expensive. Let us construct a furniture factory to ensure hefty profits in the future. The foreign expert I told you about has finally recovered from his hangover. It turns out that he was talking about optimizing our industry with better transportation. Apparently, the industrial complex is too far away from the city and people go to work on foot. If we build roads and garages near the city and the industrial complex, the citizens will be able to use cars to get to work or to the city's amenities faster. Let's start by building a road from the city to the industrial complex. You can select the road from the infrastructure tab in the build menu. Please note that construction workers will use these roads to get to their current project. That is why you should always construct a road from their office to the location where you plan to place a construction. <laughs> oh my god, I screwed up. I left click in no place. <laughs> now we need two garages. One near the industrial complex and one near the city. Let me remind you that the workers will be able to use cars when going to work, to the amenities of the city or to the residences. Make sure that both your garages are connected with the main road. I know, I know what chocolate tastes. It tastes good. Yeah. 
Presidente, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that we are making money. Alas, the people hate us and are generally miserable. We should investigate their problems in the almanac. Just as I thought people are unhappy because of the lousy healthcare. To resolve this problem, we should construct a clinic. Kaden? Dios mío, what have I done to deserve this? The clinic is ready, but the stupid doctor decided he would work as a professor in the ancient ruins at the end of town instead. I don't think the nationalists will be happy if we hire another college-educated worker from abroad. Let's get this one to work where he is supposed to. Presidente, fire that lazy, good-for-nothing professor. This should get him to work in the clinic as a doctor. Now the clinic is operational and the people's happiness will improve in time. However, we cannot afford to wait. The elections are soon and the major factions on the island are against us. We have to make some friends soon. Let us take a look at the almanac and see which faction is most prominent on this island. Open the almanac on the politics tab. It seems that the Loyalists are the prominent faction on this island. This means that they have more supporters than the Loyalists on other islands in the Caribbean. Recently, 
They are beginning to have doubts about your leadership skills, and some even threaten to leave the faction if you continue to ignore their demands. Let us see what they want. Click on their faction name in the almanac. Hmm, turns out the loyalists do not want elections. Well, it's too late to change that. What else do they want? A museum to be made in the house where you spent your childhood years. But that place was demolished years ago. You specifically asked for the workers to make sure no two bricks remain on top of each other. Looks like I'll have to edit your autobiography again. Anyway, let us construct your childhood museum. Oh my god. Let's put it right next to a restaurant. There we go. Let us see to the other demands of the loyalists. Now they want an edict depicting the greatness of your persona. I'm not sure what they like more. An ideology book or to proclaim a national day? Issue the one you like best. Marvelous job! We did what we could with the major demands of the loyalists. Once a faction gets bigger, it suddenly thinks it's allowed more and more demands. To keep things under control, I'll file the weirder ones in the minor demands category. Since your support with the loyalists is still shaky, maybe you should consider looking at their other demands. To see more details about this specific demand, just hover over its name with the mouse cursor. How about the demand about the salaries of the palace guards? Roll over it so we can see what they really want. Mm. They are upset that you lowered the wages of your palace guards after they got drunk during the 17th assassination attempt against you. The loyalists insist that your guards should receive the highest wages on the island to remind the people how important protecting your illustrious persona is. It seems we have no choice. Give the palace guards at least $25 per month. Uh, are you sure? Uh. Good work, President. Now, I leave the campaign into you. After all, you are the ruler, and I'm only the one doing all the work. I mean, I am your honest and loyal advisor, of course. If you want, you can give a speech from the balcony of your palace to win a few more traffic and votes. You can also give the men counting the ballots a few pointers about the best way to count votes. Also, 
Remember that you can speed up time when you are ready to face the election day. You still have a whole year for campaigning and swaying the voters in your favor. Use it wisely. Sad that I'm bored. <laughs> okay. I think I'll build something. You won, Presidente! You manipulated the people to your own whims. I am so proud of your devious nature. Of course, the Trafficans are still as whiny as they ever were. So be prepared to receive the next batch of their wild demands really soon. By the way, you forgot to sign my raise. I, I mean this very important document that will lead Traffico into the next century and beyond. Right here, on the dotted line, please.
Oh, I, I think I want to go to bananas. Oh, thank you want me to play that game? <laughs> no, I don't want you to play this game. What are you talking about? Where do you want me, where do you want me to go? Uh, watch TV. I go in the game. You can't go in the game. Export at least 8,000 units of agricultural exports. Alright. Like Let's get lost. Choose this option if you want to create your own avatar. I don't, I don't, I don't, flip, bob, and wavy, flip, bob, and wavy. It's okay, it's okay, beautiful. Uh, wavy, I guess. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's a series. Jane Bond. Thank you. 
Step it. I like pop singer. What? Isaac's done. Okay. That's my nose. Oh my goodness! Oh. Ew! BRB
And back. Okay. Girl, is that funny? Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh no, flowers. <laughs> Womanizer. <laughs> no, don't leave me. Play with this. <laughs> Cheapskate.
Do you like being controlled? How does it feel being denied to reap the fruits of your labor? How is it possible that your sweat and tears are only fattening the ruthless oppressors while you work 14-hour shifts? I say enough. No more lies. It's time for change, and I, Betty Boom, will be your guide to liberation. Join the resistance or die. Ew. Okay, so I gotta build at least two new farms.
The windy season has started, and all Tropicans with right minds are staying in the pub or home drinking, excluding those working, of course. For the others, listen to our station and relax. There is nothing better than the bad weather, as the prominent writer tells us. It's the garage near my farms. Okay, connect the garage to the road. Okay, okay, I can do this. No problem. All right. Where's my farm at? Something like a chocolate cake. Yeah, I think it's like called a zebra cake. Yeah. But it's chocolate. According to my ever trustworthy sources, there is. the people on the island are growing restless no, and then it's like his wife. It took them like quite some time to realize that the president is one big pompous fool and a bone. I don't know what it's called. It's better late than never. Rise, Praetorians. Rise and stop the enemies of the people with your dirty Hot dog. fucking boots. Hot dog. Thank you. 
for a moment. As people are demanding a church in Tropico, my sources from the palace indicate that there are plans for statues of Jesus Christ. Which we build a church. Be quiet. Our Presidente. Our Be quiet. Our Ow. Savior Shut will up. punish such Shut blasphemy. Up. I, for one, will put a lightning rod on my roof just in case. I know. Mickey Mouse car. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. 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 I'm here. I'm back. Alright. Pick it up, son. Pick it up. I'm building an apartment. Okay.
And now for a curious case. A wild llama has made a successful assassination attempt on El Presidente's favorite hat. The hat is in a very bad condition with little hope of recovery. The unfortunate llama has been charged with high treason and will have to testify in court for his actions. Animal activists are planning nationwide demonstrations in a desperate attempt to free the furry creature. of a museum dedicated to the childhood life of the Presidente. Go ahead. By all means, let us have it. My comrades will watch carefully who goes there. When the revolution is victorious, everyone will pay his due. God is merciful. The resistance is not. at home? Some of the items which can be seen there are El Presidente's wooden horse and his favorite teddy bear, officially called Misha, and a collection of toy soldiers with which he used to quell make-believe rebellions as a kid. Thank you. 
It's okay. Those, those will be fine. I like those. This is the opposite of what you were explaining. Because it was chocolate on the outside with cream in the middle. What? Ugh. Oh my god. Come on. Just just stop. Just just stop. Just stop. Why can't I zoom out? Am I doing something wrong here? What the heck? Put the grade school next to the cliff over here. Hey, all the children are gonna go run and fall into the water. <laughs> It is yet another beautiful day here in Tropico. The sun is shining bright and the water is warm. If you are not taking part in any backbreaking labor activities, grab a swimsuit and come to the beach. Ooh, chips a hoy, gooey. With chocolate in the middle. With chocolate in the middle. <laughs> okay, I'm about to be quizzed on this now. Oh no, wait, you said it wasn't a quiz. You gonna ask me questions now? Yeah. Okay. Close together. <laughs> what? I'm oh, sorry. Well, the workforce inland. Some people are hoping that the government will build us a hospital in the near future. I, for one, the rejoice nice to see the crew or the critical face of our politicians Here exposed cuts. as they you explain know, how they are too poor to have a hospital and travel to Florida <laughs> for their own medical treatment.
Zelda. You want? You want? Uh, schools? Um, uh, pub? Apartments? told me to. Yeah, it literally said I had to make two farms. Because we need food and uh, export. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. Eat it. Eat the mummies. All you have to do is ask, son. Just ask. Say, Mommy, can I please have one? <laughs> yeah, do that. There you go. Basically, I have to go. <clears throat> yeah, I put it on your head. I put it on your head. 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 Educated workers. I didn't play long because I did two tutorials. I didn't make the same. Basically, yes. Because I didn't make any more resources. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Mumsy's here. No, you're not getting cookies. stuff was falling from the sky, including sardines, jellyfish, alligators, and sadly, cows. El Presidente said that it's better raining sure. frogs than men. 